Saladaba. Masala Daba. Saladava, you know, the Indian spice box for the chicken thigh recipe. Right. Come on, let's go. Totally no, of course. Of course. Brad, I hate my thighs. I love mine, especially when they're turned into fragrant, fantastic Indian coconut curry chicken thighs. Wow, let's see what you got. Okay, the first thing we have to do is brown the chicken and that'll make it more flavorful in this recipe. So my pan is really hot and I'm gonna add maybe about a tablespoon of oil. Get those thighs in the pan. What you don't wanna do is crowd them because when you crowd them, they start to steam. And you don't want them to steam, you want them to brown. While these are browning, let's just talk about the amazing spices because that's what makes this recipe. And this is a masala daba. Masala daba. Masala. And it contains all of those amazing spices that are used in Indian cooking. Curry and cumin, coriander, chili powder, but most importantly, Janet's favorite, turmeric. The spice is right. That's what food scientists are saying about turmeric. Curcumin, the plant compound that gives turmeric its yellow hue, is now being used to treat cancer, arthritis, diabetes, and heart disease. All diseases associated with inflammation. Inflammation is also at the root of wrinkles and aging. Why raise eyebrows with the Botox injection when you can become a Spice Girl? Tell me what it want, what it really, really want. My chicken is browned, so all I'm gonna do is remove it, and then we're gonna use the same pan with all these little brown bits to make our sauce. So we need one and a half cups of chopped onion, a little bit of garlic, freshly minced, maybe a tablespoon. We just let the onion and garlic cook for three or four minutes until the onion softened. A tablespoon of curry powder, and now the garam masala, which is the star of our recipe, and it includes a lot of the spices that we spoke of earlier. But it also includes warm spices like cloves and cinnamon and some black peppercorns. Freshly grated ginger root. Cumin, coriander, and cinnamon, which is in the garam masala blend, actually help to stabilize your blood sugar and your insulin level. So they can help you to lose weight and to feel great. And I'm going to use the greatest grater of all time. <laughs> Greta's great grater to grate my ginger root. Say that five times fast. If you love to cook and have 25 bucks to spare, you have to get a microplane zester. The razor-like edge and stainless steel blade make zesting limes and lemons a breeze. Ever tried to zest with one of these? Uh-uh, one of these sucks, horrible. But the microplane zests perfectly every time. The moral of the story is, adding the right cooking tools can add zest to your kitchen. Mixing that around. I want my onions and garlic to be completely coated by these spices. Mm -hmm. Coconut milk, mm. one can. And don't worry about the saturated fat in coconut milk. It's actually a type of fat that can help you to burn fat. And what's really gonna make it very pretty is tomato paste, three mm. tablespoons. Pinch of brown sugar, maybe about a teaspoon. a little bit of sea salt. Bringing the sauce to a boil. As soon as it boils, I'm gonna add sweet potatoes. One and a half cups. 
So we're getting a real shot of beta carotene in this and fiber. Okay, sweet potatoes going in and then the browned chicken is going to make another appearance. Because we didn't cook the chicken before we just browned it, now it has to cook. We're gonna put the lid on and let it simmer until the chicken's cooked. So the chicken is cooked for 15 minutes. And now all we're gonna do is add peas and cilantro, a cup of peas. They can be frozen. As much protein as a hard boiled egg. And some chopped fresh cilantro. Looking and smelling delish. Okay, simmering for five minutes. I like to serve this on a bed of quinoa. Not really necessary, you could eat it just as it is, but if you have some quinoa, that would be perfect. Mm. Did you just start doing the same thing that I was doing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You gotta try this, you're gonna love it. Mm, I can really taste the garam masala. Isn't that the name of the guy that dumped you back in high school? Uh, no, that was Graham Masula. Why are you always bringing him up? Because then there's more for me. 